Hi everyone, this is Heidi Box. Um, this is the second video where I show you a couple of tricks that I used to create this heart page. Um, in this video, I'm going to show you how I created these little um, uh, scallop papers here down at the bottom, um, which are part of the More Amore DSP. Um, let me click on them and bring them to the front so you can see what they look like when they're layered behind. So if you recall the more and more DSP, it had these laser cut hearts um, as part of the paper. And uh, that's where I got these little features here. I'm gonna show you how I did that. So when I go to the new page and I come over to the more and more DSP, number two here, if I were to add that as a page layer, double click on it, and move over to one of the hearts, you see that it has a white background, which will not work for the kind of feature that I'm looking for here. So what I did was I opened my photo editing program. In my case, I use Photoshop. And I opened More Amore DSP number two in Photoshop. I just cropped one of the hearts. I'll just go through them, go through the steps here to illustrate it. And then over here on the left, there's a magic wand tool. I'll click on that. And then I clicked on the hearts. You can kind of see if I can get on screen. You can see that the outlines are lighting up here. I'm going to do a copy. And if I go under File, New, Image from Clipboard, that's going to copy it into a new image. Now these little check marks here in the background means that it's transparent. Um, so I've gotten rid of that white background. I want to do a save. And I want to save it as a PNG file. So I come pull, do the pull down and save it as a PNG. Now you can save it under more Amore DSP. Um, and I'm going to show you what goes wrong with that. So I ended up saving it under my components. I had to save it somewhere where typically a PNG file would normally reside. So I ended up I ended up putting it under embellishments. And for this page, I was using the two-tone ribbon. So I ended up saving it here. More and more to edit. I'm not going to save it again. Coming back to my digital studio. Let me show you what happens if you save it under DSP. So here I have the more and more I to edit here under DSP. If I pull this over here, it gives me an error message. It says it has transparency and some of the photo effect options are not going to work. So I want to continue. Yes. So if I were to rotate this around, kind of like how it was on my page, and then I wanted to add a drop shadow, and see what happens. It drop shadows the whole box, the whole crop box that I had. So I don't want that. So pull up embellishments. And I, like I said, I had it under the two tone ribbon. There's my edited uh, piece of more and more paper. Pull that over. Rotate that around. Now watch what happens when I do a drop shadow here. Here it only does a drop shadow on the heart. Um, allowing the background to be transparent. Um, so that's how I made that. Again, I'll go back to the previous page and you can see a couple of hearts here that were laid in the background. You send those to the back. We're going to go behind the behind my overlays, but in any case, you'll get the idea. You send it to the back and that's what it looks like. Um, I hope you like that trick and I hope you can give it a try. I'll see you again soon. Please visit me at runningwscissorsstamper.blogspot.com.